Hi, today I'm going to address uh, a question that I'm asked quite often about. What kind of probabilities are being asked for in the following question? Probability of A, probability of A given B, probability of A union B, probability of A and B. Now what I find is that students don't have a problem determining whether it's probability of A or probability of A union B. They have problems spotting whether the question is about probability of A given B or probability of A and B. Now really it's a matter of a language. So if your first language is in English, uh, and even if it is, you kind of have to pay um, some attention to the phrasings. Now let's go through these statements and you'll see how I think about them. A. Probability of getting ahead on tossing a coin. Right, there is one event here and that is the outcome of tossing a coin. So it must be probability of A because all the other ones involve um, more than one event. B. Probability of watching Family Guy or The Simpsons. There are two events here. Watching Family Guy watching The Simpsons. Since there's the word or connecting these two events, it's got to be probability of A union B. C. Probability of someone who has watched an advert and goes on to buy the item. Here there are two events. Watch an advert, buy the item. It can't be the union because it doesn't say watch the advert or buys the item or either. Now the word phrase here who has watched an advert comma goes on blah 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 who has watched an advert so that's giving us some information so that tells us it's conditional probability who has watched an advert goes on to buy the item. D. Probability of a person watching the advert and buying the item. Okay, two events. Watch the advert. Second, buy the item. Here, you've got the word and connecting the two. We're not told um, prior information, so it's got to be probability of A and B. E. Probability of a person who has watched an advert and buys the item. Uh, again, the two events, watch an advert, buys the item. Who has watched an advert and buys the item? Right. Feeling or here is that it is probability of A and B. The and here you see the and here turns it into one of A and B. Um, I'm going to kind of just list the kind of phrases we're on the lookout for now for probability of A given B, probability of A and B. Okay, here's an attempt to write down some of the phrases we should be on the lookout for if it's probability of A given B. Um, if we find that the question is of the form if B find A or when B find A or given B find A or you are told B find A, that's of the form probability of A given B. Also, blah 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 who A, comma B or blah 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 who A has B that is also probability of, of A given B. If we've got the words between A and B, we've got the word and, then that's likely to be probability of A and B. Okay finally, F. Four dice are thrown, you are told at least two are heads. What's the probability of four being heads? Okay we, we are told, so that tells us immediately 
that this is a conditional probability. So I understand that for some of you, for many of you, probability of A given B and probability A and B um, could be a bit tricky to work out uh, which one the question is asking for. Um, a good exercise is to grab a stats book, a look at the exercises on probability and just read the questions through and ask yourselves for each one is it ask what kind of probability is it asking for no need to solve it just you know just uh, decide which kind of probability it's asking for and then look up the solutions I hope that's been useful my name's Phil and I'm your statistics mentor